Next on the agenda, tell me about the different clubs and organizations on campus. Now, as I would have mentioned before, we have several clubs here at USC and stuff. So we have different clubs. We have Venada, which comprises of Grenada and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We have the Guyanese Club, which speaks for itself, the Lucian Club, the Dominican Club, the French Club. If I forget a club, don't don't stone me. Um, there's, well, ESL and French Club. Well, I don't think there's ESL anymore, but there's French Club and stuff. And yeah, um, South Leeward Islands, I think, and NCC, yeah, I think I covered most of them. If I didn't, don't stop me. We also have the Associated Student Body, which represents the students here at USC. And apart from that, we have the Drama Club, we also have the Book Club, we have the Dance Club, so we have a lot of clubs outside of our regular of our regular cultural clubs and stuff so it's really good and stuff so that's about it in terms of clubs um ah this is a nice question so it says are there any unique or quirky traditions at your university <laughs> yeah. there's a lot of weird traditions here like when i say weird i mean stop it get some help yeah like so one of the biggest traditions here is you know the birthday celebration so once we know your birthday you outside you get in soaked so you know it's just a regular tradition oh <laughs> and not only that is a tradition we also have something called initiation what do you mean by that so for the freshmen that are very much sleeping and do not know what that is your day will come and you will not like it <laughs> next question what's the food like mm. oh boy what's the food like mm. the best of the best we have five star mission i don't even know to say the word properly but anyways, we have five star food. Huh? <laughs> now listen, I am a committed calf eater. We do not care. Like I have no problem with calf. You know, I'm on lunch and dinner. The meals are good. You know, kind of re you know repetitive. I ain't really trying to throw shade on or anything. But, you know, it's fairly decent. You know, your standard meals, your provision, your peas, your rice, your chow mein, fried rice, you know, all that different stuff. It's good. It's good. What we like is Sami's. Yeah, so we always going down to cure up. Sami's, KFC, Subway. Ah, we also have a partnership with Domino's Pizza. <laughs> it's an unwritten sp um partnership yeah especially when it comes to the female dorm yeah we we have a partnership with dominoes they just don't know yet but we do ah can you share a memorable or funny campus story <laughs> campus story all right campus story memorable yeah i really do good with memories and stuff but what was my best campus experience Nah, we're not trying to talk about women here. No, nope, we're not doing that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Saving that for our next podcast. Be sure to subscribe. But yeah, um, most memorable. 2,000 years later. Like, there's so many experiences that you have here. It's like, all right, where can I really begin? Yeah, I have too many. I should probably just list a few. So, there was that one weekend where I was supposed to go and play at another church, right? And we had praise team rehearsal. And I literally, you know, was with the band learning my part and everything. And everyone was like, bro, 
you gotta be on praise team tomorrow i was like but yo <laughs> i already said i go in and play outside so it's like you know you can't give up your commitments and stuff so then yeah they made me not go so i ended up on praise team um i hope that lecturer isn't watching but my apologies i will be at your church to perform Are you serious so that was kind of memorable because it was the first time playing on set with praise team and it was really nice you know i've been growing in my musicianship and i will continue to grow so that was like one memorable experience um getting soaked on my birthday is is, is pretty decent because I have a tactic. I have a tactic. So the thing is, you you got to wear a white t-shirt when you're outside so that when you get wet. Uh, you're teasing me, naughty, naughty. So those are like two memor memorable experiences and stuff. I'll probably dive into more details and some tea later on and stuff. But, ah, boy, it's a lot, it's a lot. Anyway, shout out to Lisi Weesey that is actually watching me from the balcony. Yeah, like, I can see you. You can see me. Vibes, vibes. Yeah. Sh Shania, go do your work, please. Like, go do your work. Nakaya! Um, well, I can't say happy birthday because your birthday was like 1 hour and 38 minutes ago. But happy belated birthday. Hope you had a blast and everything, you know. Now... I think I'm gonna like wrap this up in like a few minutes because we've been at it for a while and I might actually not publish this. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Because I feel I should probably like edit it again and then, you know, throw it out there. But we'll see, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But we about to go so oh wait i didn't add that all right all right all right so let me see give me a minute we're gonna bring this one to a close so it's your boy jesse Schultz, aka sweet sax according to the people on dorm you? love you so i'm tuning out for tonight and i will see you I don't know when I'll see you, but I'll see you sometime. <laughs> so, tuning out. Peace out. Don't forget to check me on Instagram on the Sweet Socks 124.